did summer decorating. I like this. What are you doing here? I had enough of Manhattan. I came back to old Belfield to regroup. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> so what about your job? Oh. How long did you think that I would really last in the insurance business? Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to stay with me? There's nobody I'd rather stay with than my favorite daughter. Ooh. You got another kid I don't know about? Not to my knowledge, but what do I know? <laughs> you know, it's funny you came today, because I'm doing a hair show. Oh, don't worry about it. I got to see some friends first. We can catch up in a couple of days. OK. Mm. I just wanted to let you know I'm around. So I got someone waiting for me outside. All right, well, I'll see ya. Jackie, don't work too hard. Remember what I always say. Live every day like it's your last, because someday, someday you're, you're going to be, be right. right. Thank you for the. See you later. See ya. Hey. Quiet tonight? About an hour ago. Why, what happened? You got a visitor. Hey, Liz. How about a free round for your best friend's old lady? Jules, when'd you get in? Just yesterday. He's my friend Eddie. We met at the Red Shamrock today, and Eddie was kind enough to take a few of my beds. Yeah, I'm real kind like that. Those horses didn't pull through for me today, though. They should have made glue out of those four-legged losers. Yeah, nothing worse than a loser. At least Eddie could do is buy a poor lady a couple of rounds. Yeah, she's probably gonna drink all her dough back. You got anybody taking action in here? This isn't really an action kind of place, Eddie. <laughs> you driving, Jules? Nah. I dumped that lousy car in Jersey City. The convertible that Jackie got you? Yeah. The convertible. What a lemon. The Jackie tells me you're going to college. Wasn't I the first one to always say that you was the smartest girl in Belfield? Yeah, well, you know what? Jackie's had her own business since she was 26. I'd say she's pretty smart. Lydia, how smart you gotta be to cut hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say Jackie's done okay for herself. Yeah, especially considering. <laughs> Oh. Does anyone still drink that stuff? Yeah, you do. Come on, I'll get rid of your headache. Come on, yeah. drink it. <laughs> Tickles. I know. Come on, drink up. Okay. It's terrible. I know. You want some tea? Uh, maybe later. Yeah, you lost already. What? You lost already. You can't clear all the marbles from the corners. Yes, I can. Hey! What? What are you doing? You're cheating. How can I cheat? It's a one-person game. Maybe I will have a little cheese or something. There. Yeah. What? I won. <laughs> How could you win? You cheated. No, I didn't. I saw them. They were like this. No, they weren't. You want such a cheetah. <laughs> I'll get him. All right, let me get you something to eat. Jackie? What? Um, maybe I'll just have a drink instead. Jules. Just one. A little one. For the headache. Just like high school. Aren't you gonna get that? Mm, I'm sure it's nothing. Cigarettes. Oh, they're on the counter. When 
did you get so hyperactive moving things every five seconds? I mean, I just like things neat, that's all. And you know what? Do me a favor and don't burn it on that shirt. It's expensive, okay? What's wrong with this picture? My daughter wears nice clothes and I don't have a dime. The difference is, you didn't have a kid when you were 16. You know what? I'll buy you a shirt just like it, all right? <laughs> hey, what happened this morning? How could a friend easily be stranded like that? He's no friend. Remember what I told you about guys with weak chin? <laughs> Can I borrow your car? I gotta go to Newark today. Oh, well, I gotta take it to work. I'll drop you off. Oh, it's only a month old. Hey, I got an idea. You get off of work at 7, right? Yeah. Why don't I pick you up and we can go out to dinner? A nice dinner. Like maybe Chinese or something. Right. You know, I know this new spot on um, Bracken Boulevard. I love new spots. All right, <laughs> I'll eat a light lunch. Hey. All right. What are you doing home? Waiting for you. That's nice. Are we going to dinner? We were supposed to go to dinner last night. Honey. Are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Let me ask you something. Do you remember when I was a kid and I was roller skating on Porter Street and I split my head open? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. You're always in some kind of drama when you were a kid. Why? You gotta go, Jules. What are you talking about? I got you a bus ticket to Atlantic City. Atlantic City? Why? You could work there. You got friends there. And they're better at saying no to you. You gonna let a little money come between us? It's not the money, Jules. It's you and me. We're no good together. We're bad for each other. We're bad for each other? The hell does that mean? Look, you, you, you can't stay here. I got, I got a business to run. I, I got my life. I can't move when you're here. I, I can't breathe. You're throwing me off. No, no, I'm just, look, I'm just asking you to let me live my life. I, there's a few bucks in here. your bag. You're throwing me out. No, look, I'm begging you. I can't you. believe you would throw Mom, me out. I love you. But you gotta go. Salimo. Jules, you're not with the bingo group. No. My daughter bought me a ticket. Oh, isn't she coming? No. I was just there for a visit. Oh, a visit, that's nice. Yeah. She's got a business to run. She's got a life. You gotta let him breathe, you know. Yeah, I guess. Would you like a sour ball? I am so hungry today. I don't like to eat before I get on a bus. 
on account of if I've eaten when I get on the bus, I, I get sick. Oh, but don't worry, I got an extra Ziploc. You want to know the truth? I stopped eating at 6 the night before so I could load up at the buffet. If I don't use the Ziploc now, I'll fill it up with goodies for the trip home. Hey, Mom. What are you doing in here? How'd you get in? The sofa let me in. Oh. What's wrong? Okay, here. Stone cold sober. I didn't ask. You were gonna? No, I'm just wondering, what are you doing here? Are you kidding me? I wouldn't miss my grandchild's christening. Look at that baby. For your girl. I didn't think you got any of my messages about the baby. Why well, call when you can come in person? You know me, spontaneous. Yeah. <laughs> Why won't you let me hold him? Oh, it's a new mother thing. Don't take it personal. <laughs> you know, Jules, the only reason you don't see ashtrays around here is because I threw them out. So there's not going to be any smoking around here and no drinking. He's too young to be impressionable, but OK, whatever. Good to be around the baby again. Like you ever were. You're gonna let that present just sit there forever? Oh, man. Bibs, I could use these. You can never have enough of those. Those are the good terry cloth kind, not the plastic crap. I appreciate that. Thank you. The <laughs> acorn doesn't fall far from the tree, huh? Meaning? Welcome to single motherhood. You know, Victor and I were gonna be married. And I'm not 15, Jules. It's not like I had a choice. The bum abandoned me. I've been hearing about this bum for 30 years. Don't you think it's about time I knew his name? Excuse me? I want to know his name. Is that such a big deal? The big deal is that I raised you. I did everything for you. Now I can't even hold my damn grandson. But you're nostalgic about some jackass you never even met. Damn grandson? Look, I'm not even going to go there, OK? I just want to know a name. That's all. No. You don't even know who my father is, do you? I didn't come here to be insulted. I'm staying with Gloria. She doesn't treat me like dirt. Go ahead. Hey, Valley. How are you? I'm good. You? Fine. I heard about your restaurant. That's great. Yeah, thanks. I, I didn't know you were back in town. Oh, well, I came for my grandson's christening, but I don't know why I bothered. My daughter doesn't want me around. What makes you say that? She's been asking about her father. All of a sudden, she's more concerned about some guy who's done nothing for her than she is about her own mother. Nice, huh? But, you know, she's grown up now, Jules, and if she wants to know oh, Dolly, it. don't start. You had it easy. You had Frank. I had to go it alone. It is... It's... not fair to bring that bum back into the picture now. Oh, well, that's not what she wants to do. She doesn't want to bring him back. She just wants to make sure she doesn't accidentally name her son after him. That's what she wants? Yeah. Listen, the last thing in the world you should do now is be offended. You know, this is a very special time for her, Jules. She could use your support. Well, I am looking out for her. You don't want to open up that Pandora's box. Jules, you know, the, um, if you're hungry or you want a sandwich or something, the kitchen is just two blocks away over on Green Street. Why don't you go? I'll stop by sometime. Coming. Oh. Before you say anything, this is for you, not me. I haven't had a drink in nine months. I thought you might come back, and I bought some lasagna. You want to come in? 
I didn't mean to fly off the handle like that about your father. It's a sore subject. I don't blame you, but... Robert. What? His name is Roberts. Everyone called him Bobby. You want his name, now you got it. Bobby the Bum. Thanks. To whiz a lasagna. Uh, uh, come sit down. I'll, I'll, I'll heat some up, all right? His name is Robert. Jackie? My father's name is Robert. How'd you find out? Jules told me. Was she drunk? No, your mother talked to her. I never liked the name Robert anyway. a little champagne to celebrate. Yeah, for someone who complains about how hard her life is, you sure celebrate a lot. Well, that's because I believe in having fun. It's an important quality in a person, funness, being fun to be with. It's like I always say, live every day like it's your last, because someday, someday you're, you're going to be right. right. I mean, we're not put on this earth to be unhappy. That's not what life is about, Jackie. I mean, nobody likes that stick in the mud. What are you doing? I recycle. Oh. How did I produce such a, a good citizen? Maybe it came from my father's side. Don't you smart mouth me. Turns out my father wasn't such a bum after all, was he, Jules? What? And what are you talking about? Robert Comiskey, my father? said keep it down. The loan for my salon is at Belfield Trust. I've been dealing with that man for years. So you wanted me to get rid of you. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, you've told me a million times. Do you know what it was like for me to watch him get married, have his kids? This is why I spend so much time leaving this town. It would have been nice if you would have taken me with you once or twice. You're a mother? No. You'll see what it's like to raise a kid. The reason you don't want me to know who my father is is because you are the bum. What are problems he had had before that at least he got his act together? You never did. Yeah, because I was stuck with the kid. I used to feel guilty about that back then. I don't anymore. Because you're ungrateful. Because you told me that having a baby was such a terrible burden. And then I had one. And you know what? He's no burden. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Coming. You hold on. Don't go anywhere. I don't remember most of it, but I know we had a fight the other night, and I'll assume that it was my fault. I'm so sorry, kid. Uh, it wasn't all your fault. Come in. Am I still invited to the christening? Of course you are. I'm not a scarfy person. What do you think? I was trying something. You look great. What time does this shindig start? Oh, in about an hour. Libby's going down to the train station to pick up Abigail, and I said I'd get down there early to meet them. You want to come? I can't. I gotta make a stop on the way. I'll see you, sweetheart, an hour. Okay. Do you think we can give my mother a couple more minutes of father? Because, uh, you know, she left the apartment about half an hour before me, and, well, you know, she's really bad with directions. Another round here. Sure thing. I'm on a streak. You know why my luck is changing? I got a grandson. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Surprise. I know I don't look it. I had my baby when I was a kid, which I wouldn't wish on anybody. But the upside is, you're still young when you become a grandmother. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> yes, there. This grandson is a good sign. Yes. I'm going to set up a college fund for that kid.
Father Tom, I think we can start now.